Welcome back, everybody, to the Monster Hunter, uh, where we last left off. I think we just did like a whole bunch of side questing before we were to turn in this uh, this last final, not necessarily the final quest, but the last ingredient quest. So let's quick go do that. What's up? You want to do this thing? Here, we found some glowstone dust. There we go. Okay, be careful. Just a little blow and the dust is gone. All right, looks like we have everything. I thought about giving the items to Charlotte. She is an expert in potion brewing. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. But before we do that... Hmm? Would you like to drink something with me? Drink something with No, you? girls are icky and have cooties. It's a story. I'm sticking with it. Yeah. Sure. Comment down below if you I'm agree. Probably can't hurt. Awesome. I'll just bring the items to Charlotte and then we'll meet in the bar, okay? Yep. Ooh, got a little peek behind the scenes there. Here we are. Great. I already delivered the items to Charlotte. Do you know when she will be done? An hour or two? Hmm. I see you already ordered something to drink for us. Yeah, it's honey beer from Cherry Bees. Honey beer from Cherry Bees? That is expensive beer. Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, it's just that that was the most emotion I've ever seen you express. It always seems like there's something that makes you mad, or sad, even. Stay away from me, wench! You have cooties! Well, there's something that happened. That Exposition! Happened that day? Yeah. Can you tell me what happened? You don't have to. Nosy, aren't you? It's fine. Uh, it happened five years ago. I was sitting on a swing outside of my parents' home. It was my favorite place to relax. Anyway, I was just thinking about stuff when my mom called me. She said, sweetie, dinner is ready. I was 14 at the time and even then she still called me sweetie. So I stopped what I was doing and went to the house. Oh. Oh, it's actually letting me control here. This is a very serious somber moment. I'm not gonna ruin this. I always helped my dad in the garden when I was there. My mom would cook for us when we were done, and my dad would say something like, Thanks for helping me, son. Everything was fine until... Dinner was served. Hell broke loose. Everything went black. The next thing I remember is seeing my dead parents. But they weren't the only thing I saw. The Monster King was standing right in front of me. He killed us with his curse, me included. But then, Mabel came. I think that day was when something in me changed. I died back then, but she was able to bring me back. Wow. Unfortunately, she couldn't save my parents. Why? Because I can only bring people back when their soul is still intact. I died 30 seconds later than my parents. Calling it a close call would be an understatement. Wow. But what about the Monster King? He thought everyone was dead, so he left. And now I still have the curse which is actively trying to kill me. And if Mabel will ever be more than 100 meters away from me, it's over. So that's why you two are traveling together. Yeah, after all of that, we agreed to hunt the Monster King together. Wow, I'm so sorry. That's kind of a hardcore origin. Uh, Holy crap. Do you think the potion is already done? Yeah, probably. I told her to leave it in my house so you can check there. Will do. See you when it's done. And... Thanks for the drink. No problem. Lara sure is nice, huh? Yeah, she really is. You know, once again, I have to commend, like, the voice acting in this is pretty good. This is pretty good voice acting, and the fact that this whole thing is voice acted is pretty awesome. 
here it is. Finally. Down it goes. Well, how does it taste? You need to give me something, man. Oh, wait, main quest compass. Okay. I don't. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, at ease. Where are we going now? All the compass here. The compass says. Man, I don't know. But again, I, I, you know, I, it's like, I. I'm, like, aspiring to be, like, a voice actor myself, so I really like listening to, like, different voice acting or different performances, and this one is very good. I, I like the, uh, I really like whoever did Mabel. Like, that, whoever did her uh, voice acting was, is absolutely top-notch. It's, I think it's very well done. I think the voice acting overall in this map is, is pretty good. I think some of the dialogue could be tweaked ever so slightly to be a little bit more streamlined or slightly more realistic. But I, again, this is a fantasy map. I mean, you gotta... It's not always gonna be 100% realistic, but I still think this is a, a a very... I still think overall the voice acting, 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. And here we are. Do you want to start the last mission? Yes. All right, here we go. Dying is literally inconsequential for me. There oh. are really wither skeletons in here. That's a good sign. Good God. Need to give me a little more room to work, guys. Jeez. Oof. Mabel! Mabel! Thank you. Uh, this could be fun, I think. Oh, good. Wither skeletons. Ah! Wait. Where did I spawn? Oh! It spawned me all the way back here. Let's quick kill this guy. Wow, that is so much lava. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yikes! God, I'm not trying a deathless run or something like that. Otherwise, this would be really bad. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta swing from vine to vine. Nailed it! Oh. Very big jump. But killed it all the same. I'm, I'm thinking here, if this is like the final dungeon, this must be like the end. Like there's nothing else. Oh, come on! I kind of wish I had some semblance of... Oh, wait. Wither Skeletons are three high, aren't they? Nope, doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. Dying is literally inconsequential to me. There. I can feel it. Yes, as can I. I say, as can I, or as can I. Yeah, I'll take a free kill. Actually, conserve a little bit of uh, iron sword there, shall we? Trying to, there we go. I'm like trying to keep track of how many attacks it takes to kill these guys, but I'm like failing at just hitting them at the same time. It's a disaster. I will admit, I'm doing very, I have a very poor performance this map. I'm also like most likely to get two shot. Is 
this it? It's time. Apparently it is. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, right, that shard we picked up earlier for Laura. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Where am I? Man, I think you did. Oh. You. Him. Yes. Nice. It's me. Great voice modulation. What do you want? Funny that you ask me that question when you are the one who's been hunting me for the past five years. But enough of that. I want you to join me. Okay. You see, I could use people like you and my army. Together, we could conquer the lands and rule with an iron fist. I'm in. What do you say? Hell yeah. No. Oh. Ah, uh, don't tell me you're still mad about your parents. Mildly perturbed. Of course I am. You killed them and destroyed our home. Ah, uh, yes. I remember that day well. Your parents were brave. But the animation work in here is fantastic as well. I'll never forget what you've done. I'll make you pay for your crimes. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. You really think you can defeat me? I'll do whatever it takes. Very well. I look forward to seeing what you can do. When you wake up, come find me and let's settle this once and for all. Okay. <laughs> You're awake! Uh, what happened? We got tricked. We ran right into his trap. The explosion. Now I remember. I didn't get hurt, but you lost your legs. Oh, but I've been replaced with a bed. Legs are fine. That's because I let them grow back. It took me 12 hours. 12 hours? Or two lost legs, that sure seems fast. It was because Lara helped me. Lara? She's currently asleep. She helped me carry you out of the cave. And after that, she stayed awake the whole time to help heal you. She had to fall asleep eventually. Huh? Uh, hey. You're awake! Oh, um, you're awake. We've been so worried. Sorry I made you too worry, but I have to tell you something. I had a conversation with the Monster King. What? When? It's complicated. Look, Mabel. He wants a battle. To settle things. Once and for all. Oh, yeah? Alright, I will... Help, too. It looks like we won't be able to count on her. It's okay. She has done more than enough. So, what do you say? Can you stand? Yeah. Then let's give him the fight he so badly wants. Oh, lovely. Um... Huh. I wonder if it's just going to be as simple as go, kill the Monster King. I doubt it very highly, but we'll kind of see where this goes. Uh, where does he want to go fight? He want to go fight over here. No, over there. Where am I going? Where are any of us going? Why are we go? I like the compass mechanic a lot. Like, if I gotta go through another dungeon, I'm probably not fighting him today. Oh. My man's just vibing up there. Start the boss Monster fight. Monster King, we're here. Hello. Uh, good. Neat. Not Where did he go? Oh 
don't know. His power. I won't be able to heal you like before. You were barely healing me as it was. Better, for every death of yours, my pet and I will heal. Oh. Yeah, I know about you and your little ghost friend. It doesn't matter, though. I'll kill you again and again until your spirit is completely broken. Now, let us begin. So that's his pet. Oh. Come on, show me what you're capable of. Oh god, I did like no damage. Look, he even wears armor. Yeah, he's serious about this. Wither skeletons! Oh, that's not fair. I won't be able to heal you as fast and as much anymore. Great. More wither skeletons! <laughs> oh, crap. How weak. Okay, this is hardly fair. I disagree. There must be a way. I think if I hide under a tree, his pet might not reach me so easily. Well, that's helpful, but which tree do I hide under? This'll work. But the problem isn't him and his pet. The, his problem... My problem isn't, like, him and the, his pet. My problem is... Ooh! Oh, come on. Where'd he go? That was good damage. That was bad damage. Where'd he go? There he is. Come on. Here, boy. Come on. My man is just vibing up there. There we go. Come to Papa. I don't feel like this is balanced at all. Where'd he go? Come on. I caught him down an eighth, let's go. Good. Very bad. There we go. That was a good hit. This is actually really hard. 
Come on. Come on down. Come on down, you winner. Claim your prize. Ooh, that was a good little good bit of damage. So I cower under the tree when uh, zombies are out. Come on. Oh, never mind. I thought you were strong. Dude, you literally can one-shot me. Cut me some slack, man. Come on. Come on down. This is a fair fight, I'd be kicking your butt. Come on down, come to Papa. Uh, there you go, come on. Damn it! Get your ass down here. Come on. There we go. Time to run. Guess I was wrong. Well, again, it's mostly your minions killing me, my man. Not even really you. If you would come down here. We wouldn't be having this problem. A hiding down there. Come on, get down here. Uh, don't think it's over. It's not. It might not be over now, but it will be over soon. Deep three we'll high. See about that. Yes. Fireball, watch out! Are you even trying? Honestly, yes. But you're bringing back up. You're the worst. Oh, come on, how is this fair? So embarrassing. Yeah, you won't be of any use to me. 
Christ, man, you're not really giving me a chance to fight here. Witches? Seriously? This is not a very fair fight. fights I can handle. Boss fights like this where the boss heals yourself on death? That's a bit much, I think. Or at least he shouldn't heal so damn much. I've almost gotten down to half. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. I will be back once I finally finish this guy off. Oh, finally. That felt good. Yep, kill him. Ooh, Monster nice. King, your reign of terror ends here. You have caused so much destruction and pain to innocent people. Innocent? They fear us. They hate us. They hunt us. We are the ones who Who's us? Trying to survive in a world that hates us. That doesn't excuse your actions. You have killed countless people and destroyed entire villages. They were in my way. Trying to stop me from achieving my goal. You're sick. I told you. I'll make you pay for your crimes. Let me ask you something. Do you really believe that killing me will solve everything? That the humans will suddenly stop fearing and hating the monsters? Maybe not. But it's a start. <laughs> and we have to start somewhere. Just know that I'm not the only one who feels this way. There are others who will rise up and fight for our kind. Then we will be ready for them. But for now, your time has come to an end. Go to Lara. We gotta tell her it's done. Huh. I still can't believe it. Perfectly good waste After of a sword. All this time. Yeah, we did it, Mabel. We won. Well, while we're wandering back here, I'd like to get, kind of give my final thoughts here, because I have a feeling we're about to wrap up here really fast. Um, very well voice-acted map. 
I really think the map would benefit from a texture pack of some kind. You know, it's just kind of... There's nothing here in this map that really sets it apart from being, like, any more than, like, a generic map. Like, this map is just, like, missing that one little thing that makes it special. And I think a, I think a texture pack would really help set this apart from the others. That and the uh, enemies were, like, tweaked way too high up in the difficulty scale. Even that final boss fight was just a little too difficult. You know, dying in the boss rehealing when a boss can, like, two-shot you isn't quite on the level of what I would call fair. Overall, I'd say this was a pretty good 7.5 out of 10 map. You know, the, it really benefited from, that, uh, from all that custom voice acting. So, let's finish her up. Hey there. You're back! How did it go? It's done. The Monster King has been defeated. You really did it! I can't believe it! You have to tell everyone. Actually, Mabel and I will leave the island now. Wait, what? Why don't you want to tell everyone you did it? We, we could celebrate. But celebrating isn't really our thing. That's right. We came to defeat the Monster King, and that's exactly what we did. Look, the monsters aren't completely gone just because their king is dead. The Wither Skeletons are, but the normal monsters? No. Mabel and I have to go and defeat every monster that's still out there. Then let me come with you too. Please, I can fight too. Hmm, really? Yes, really. Hmm, what do you say, Mabel? I say we can use as much help as we can get. Then it's decided. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just say goodbye to everyone. We'll be waiting for you on the boat. I have a feeling we're not going to be waiting for her. We're just going to set off without her. With the help of a brave ghost named Mabel, I set out to defeat the Monster King and free the world from its terror. After a long and grueling battle, we emerged victorious. The island is safe once again, but our work is far from over. There are still other islands that need our help, other monsters that need to be defeated. We will continue to fight to protect the innocent and vanquish evil whenever it may lurk. The fight against darkness never truly ends, but with courage and determination, we can face any challenge that comes our way. The journey ahead will be long and perilous, but we are ready. We will sail into the unknown, ready to face whatever dangers may come our way. Our destiny is in our hands, and we will not rest until every last monster is vanquished from this world. Roll credits! Oh, no, we didn't run off without her. Oh, nope. Can't leave yet. Oh, uh, credits. Interesting. Well, I think I'm going to uh, end the episode right here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.